how to varnish this one that I did the other day. I like the picture, so I'm going to keep it. I use this stuff, which is all I can get here, which is an acrylic varnish. It's a so I just got a plastic tub and a brush, not too rough a bristle so that you don't get lines, although they do clear. I'm just going to squirt some along the tub, like that. Dip the tip of the brush in, not the hard brush, because you don't need to. And then start from one end and just take it across, always going in one direction. Usually I do horizontal. It does come out a bit um, white looking, but it dries clear. And don't forget to do the edges as well. Simple. I was a bit scared at first when I did one of my fine art paintings on a canvas, but it comes out fine. And then you do have to dry flat with this. I'm not too fast, but I would lean it on something like when you do acrylic pouring. Just lean it on something that's raising it off the ground so that the edges don't stick to anything when it's drying. And that is really it. Give it at least two hours. This I would probably give three because it's not on a canvas so it's not porous. And just finish off going in the same direction. And that's it. And that's all there is to it. So don't be scared to do it. I was at first but it's fine. And then I'm just going to leave it there to dry flat on that paper. And this one is coming along nicely. It's not quite dry yet. Um, the sun's in the way at the moment. I'm going to leave that a few days to dry completely. And then I'm going to give that the same varnish as I would this one. Going across with the flow. And then letting it dry three hours. And giving it another coat. You can give two or three coats. This depends. Sometimes you can see in the light as well if it's under a light, light bowl, you could see places you've missed. And sometimes on the canvas it soaks in a bit more than other places and you'll see that when it's dry. If you just tilt it to the light, you can see which bits need more than the rest. And that's it.